Well, good morning. Uh, here we are on Misk Hill, looking lovely today. Um, and this is the last reflection we're going to have on video for the time being. For the time being, we you never know, we might see the need to start again. But it's been quite a few weeks um, and I'm really grateful to Liam and Lisa and Debbie for helping uh, because after doing them uh, for the first few weeks uh, I realised actually <laughs> what I'd taken on so thank you um, and your contributions have been absolutely brilliant. Uh, but it seems like an interesting stage of the journey. Here am I on, do you call it Miss Keel or Miss Keels? But I'm halfway up one of the hills and you see there's a little way to go there and it, it seems like that's the stage of the journey that we're on at the minute you know we can look back and see where we've been so as I look back down there I can see the woods that I went through to get to here and you know the gate and climbing up this hill I can see there's quite a bit further to go and actually when you look at there beyond the top of the hill that's it you can't see what's what's there but there's a lot more terrain that you can't see past there <laughs> it just very much seems like a kind of picture of the journey we we're on at the minute there was the, the darkness of kind of like going through the woods it's quite dark this time of the morning the sun doesn't get through and certainly i think we all found um march quite a dark time clouds of fear coming over us but kind of we broke into the light and we're climbing up this hill and we don't know where to go um, but we do know that God has been with us um, there's been a lot of sadnesses on the way and we've been really sad to lose friends and to see the awful suffering around us uh, but uh, uh, some verses come to mind Job um, talking to his people well his people talking to his friends so-called friends about the suffering he'd been through said he knows the way that I take. He wasn't going to try and defend himself or explain why it happened. He just said, he knows the way that I take. Um, and that really is a key verse for us. You know, we, we don't know why this is happening and what's going on, except the kind of the general principle uh, that we're given in Romans that I keep referring back to. Um, and there are all sorts of people like Job's comforters um, who aren't so much saying, you know, you must have done something wrong to us, but who are saying conspiracy, conspiracy, conspiracy. And I'm really sad, actually, when I see a lot of Christians engaging this. Uh, and there are a lot of people who say, we know the reason God is judging this country and judging this world. Well, the prophets in the Old Testament, like Jeremiah, could say that because they were Old Testament prophets. They were canonical prophets prophets they had a clear word from God that we see in the Bible but I don't think we have the authority to say that but we do have the authority to say that God sent his son Jesus in the end we have the authority to say that this world is groaning uh, in the as in the pains of childbirth looking forward to the renewal of the children of God and we have the authority to say he knows the way we take. We can't give the definitive answer, but we do know that Jesus has come and been a real human being, entered into suffering, that he's died for our sins, for the redemption of this world, for all who trust in him. Uh, and he rose again and conquered death, ascended into heaven and will return. We do know that his kingdom is coming and we do know that we have the reality of his kingdom now in the presence of the Holy Spirit. So, in this last reflection we have, I would just encourage you to look to God, look to the abundance of God in all of that. Pentecost Sunday, um, and we've got something a bit special for you in the service, but I won't give you any more spoilers than that, but it's taken a long time to put this service together, so I ho hope it all kind of ties together quite well. But Pentecost has, has made me think about the, the abundance of God. You know, Jesus said, um, if you who are evil give gifts to your children, how much more will the Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? God has poured out his Spirit in abundance. And, you know, I can see to the top of the hill, but I can't see beyond that. And, and we feel a bit like that at the minute. You know, we can see, yeah, there's a long way to go, but we don't know what the future holds. But we do know God knows. And we do know that he will give us in abundance everything we need. Uh, and I'll leave you with those verses in Ephesians. Now to him 
who is able to give far more than we could ask or even imagine. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus. Don't look at the, the fear and the bleakness around you. Look at the abundance that God has given you and rejoice in him. He will get us from A to B. He will take us safely into that eternal kingdom. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, on this beautiful day, we thank you that you take us every step of the way. You know the way that we take. So we pray that you'd help us to trust in you, that you would give us the strength to keep going. We thank you that in these weeks we've, we've known your hand upon us. You know that we have had sadnesses. We do think of Inez and others know to us who've lost loved ones. We thank you that you've given us the opportunity to witness to your kingdom in word and deed. We thank you for those who've been working in the food bank and other places. We thank you for those who've been working in hospitals and councils and paramedics and pharmacists and, or, and shop workers. We thank you for people who've been keeping us going. We thank you that you provided all our needs and we believe you for provision in the future. And Father, we do pray that, that sometime soon, in your time though, you will be able to gather together as your family to worship you. But we do thank you that you've given us those family bonds that will never be broken. Well, the Lord bless you. I'm going to see you on Sunday morning for our Pentecost service, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, and uh, pray that pray that in our homes, as we, we kind of like we watch it separately but together, we'll know the abundance of God's blessing. Goodbye.